Okay, now, um, easy does it. Oh, oh god. Oh my god. Welcome back, gamers. Today, I'm going to kill the dragon in my hardcore world using only a stick. So I was running around aimlessly in my hardcore world, as one does, trying to think of video ideas when suddenly I thought, ooh, I should fight the dragon. But then after a little bit of research, I learned that Wadzi actually already fought the dragon. So if I did that, it would be copying, and that kind of made me sad. And then it hit me. What if I fight the dragon using only a stick? Ah yes, you heard me right. Nothing but a good old fashioned brown huh? Minecraft stick. What could possibly go wrong? But before I tell you that story, I first have to expand this village. So if you wanna see how big this place can get, make sure you subscribe. My dudes, we're back. What do you think? I think it looks pretty dang good. This is a good bridge. I'm really starting to think that these village expansions are gonna be a great way to keep this place in pristine condition. But Gronk, don't you need villagers for it to be called a village expansion? Hey you, listen here, you disrespectful nitwit. Don't you know what happened to my villagers? Wait, you haven't heard what happened? Uh, ooh, this is awkward. Uh, I'm sorry about that, that was a bit aggressive. Let me explain what happened to them. A couple of weeks ago on a live stream, I was doing some planning for a future project. So I dug this really big hole below my base. I wanted to build my villager breeder down here and it was going exactly to plan. I had the hole dug, I had my villagers all in boats, ready to go, yada, yada, yada. And then this happened. It's nighttime and okay. <laughs> we have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> There's a problem. What were you doing? Hey, what were you doing? You didn't do your job. You just sat in the field. You think you're a farmer. Oh my God, I ought to just burn them alive. Okay, okay, okay. I'm done with the banter. Okay, there's still a lot of prep that we can do before we can actually set off to fight this dragon. First thing I'm thinking is that we get another wart farm going. Now, nothing crazy. Just a simple little cute guy thing back here. Okay, now where are my blaze rods at? I know they're in here somewhere, dude. Wait, what the heck? I just killed like a hundred blazes last episode. I really don't want to have to go back to the nether if I don't have to. Okay, yeah, I'm going back to the nether. But this bridge though, this is this is nice. I like this thing. All right, uh, well, let's make this quick, I guess. Jesus. Okay, 60 blaze rods should be plenty for what I have planned. Let's get out of here. And we're gonna need a lot of obsidian for what I have planned. Good God, that stuff takes a long time to mine, dude. I'm glad that's over though. Oh God. All right, gamers, listen up. Let's talk strategy. If we have any chance of killing this damn dragon with a stick, we're gonna need a lot of slow falling potions. But you see, I'm a baby, okay? I sleep like every night in this world. So now it's time to stay awake for a while and attract some phantoms. Ah, yes, dude. Look at my new moon texture pack. It looks so good. Hey, yo, buddy, you trying to have a duel? The first night of not sleeping was complete, and it was at this point that I remembered where all of my stuff was. You see, a while back, I had this idea to go fishing with a regular fishing rod until I caught a mending book. Yeah, it took like 13 hours of fishing and was honestly one of the most fun and stupid things I've ever done. Well, hello, Chad. How's it going, my friend? Long time no see, buddy. Now, do I have any good stuff over here? Hmm. So I found 29 blaze rods, which is pretty cool because I just spent all that time in the nether killing blazes, uh, yeah. But I also found three phantom membrane, which I'll definitely use, but I'm still gonna need some more. So while those potions were brewing, I wanted to check out the top comment from the last video so my horse could have a name. And boom, there we go. Thank you for commenting. This is my new horse, Sleepnir. I hope I'm saying that right. Okay, so nine slow falling potions is good, but I'm only gonna be using a stick to kill the dragon as I've talked about, so I might have to spend like a really long time in the end. So yeah, I'm gonna want some more phantom membranes still. 
Ooh, look at this guy. He's all decked out in enchanted gold. This has got to be pretty rare. You know, I tell you what, let's take him home with us. There we go. And you know what? You know the drill. Leave a name suggestion and the best comment will win again. Oh no, guys. It looks like I'm being swarmed by an angry mob of keyboard warriors. Oh god. I think I just made all my obsidian and ender chest. Oh, now I gotta go get even more of it. At this point, I had all of my ender eyes to find the stronghold, slow falling potions to protect me if I was launched into the air, scaffolding to build up quickly, and obsidian to box myself in. But there was still one thing that I needed. Ah yes, I almost forgot about the most important part. If we're gonna use a stick to fight the dragon, I have to name it something cool. Okay, so I've been waiting around tonight to see if any phantoms spawn, but it's not looking like it's gonna happen. All right, Slepnir, my good pal. I think it's time that we uh, head off to the stronghold. Okay, really? Now you come out? All right, Slepnir, pal. You're not gonna like this, buddy, but uh, yeah, we gotta cross this big river. Come on, pal, we're almost there. There we go, good job, buddy. Okay, we made it. Oh no, oh no, oh no. No, 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 keep riding, buddy, keep riding. We're almost out of this forest. Oh gosh, well, you guys, it looks like we've reached yet another large river and uh, I don't have the heart to drag Sleepnir across this thing again. I think he's gonna have to stay here. All right, buddy, you stay here and I'll be back to get you one day. That is, uh, if I, if I don't die doing this. You guys, it's no longer about just me. You know what? It's not about me at all anymore. Okay, I have to beat this dragon and I'm so nervous right now. <laughs> I'm so scared. I want to see my horse again. Okay, so I've been going this way for a while now and I think it's time to throw another eye. Oh, okay, just kidding. Still going the same way. Ooh, it just changed directions. That means we're getting close. Oh my god, guys, we've found it. The stronghold is right below us. <laughs> You know, maybe I should have just found the stronghold last episode for the bookshelves that I needed because this place is cracked, dude. Hold up, wait, there's another one here? All right, guys, I have made it to the end portal. And surprisingly, that was really easy to find. I guess this is just like a small stronghold, it turns out. I've done some final preparations, and at this point, I just want to say thank you for being with me here so far. Uh, yeah, I don't know how this is going to go. I mean, I have a plan, <laughs> but let's just hope that it goes according to that plan. But yeah, that's about all I have to say. So here we go. So the first major challenge I'm facing is removing the end crystals. Normally, I would just shoot them with my bow. But when I say I'm only using a stick, I mean it. So I have to build up there and then destroy them by hand. And yeah, I'm really scared the dragon's just gonna yeet me in the air while I do this. Let's go ahead and drink this slow falling potion and then start building up at the first tower. Okay, and there, tower number one is destroyed. Okay, there's number two. We'll grab some of this while we're here for sure. Number three. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Just breathe. Number four. Number five. Okay, I'm doing good. We're halfway there. Okay, there's number six. And thank goodness for my slow falling. Number seven. This does not sound good. Okay, yep. Uh, yeah, easy does it. Let's try that one again. Number eight. I can't tell if these endermen are mad at me or the dragon. Uh, hopefully not me. Number nine. Okay, just one more. And number 10 is complete. That is a huge relief. Okay, believe it or not, that might have been the hardest part of this challenge. And now I'm on to the second phase of this challenge, which is to actually kill the dragon with this stick. To do that, I need to wait for the dragon to perch in the middle and to stand in the correct spot so I can whack it with this thing. Now for a safety measure, I want to enclose myself so the dragon hopefully can't hit me into the air while I'm doing this. Emphasis on hopefully. I haven't tested this, so uh, yeah.
All right, I think this is the perfect setup where the dragon can't hit me, but I can still hit the dragon. Now I have to go test it. I think if I run out here, it should make the dragon want to perch. Okay, here we go. It's happening, it's happening. Now we just wait for it to land and start smacking it. Okay, it's leaving now, but that was a lot of damage. I took like half of its health down in just one cycle almost. And now we wait. Here we go again, it's time. I will admit, this is slightly underwhelming, but I think I might be able to actually do this. Okay, there's another big chunk of health gone and it's perching again. This might be it folks. Uh, yeah, like and subscribe. Oh my god, I actually did it, dude. I actually beat the dragon with a stick. Oh my goodness. Oh, well, uh, okay. Gamers, can you believe it? We actually beat the dragon with a stick. Thank you to my patrons who allow me to keep making these videos for you. They also get the videos a day early, I'm just saying. Anyways, if you like this, I promise you'll like this video of me making a quad XP farm. Just click it, it's literally right here.